Recently, we embarked upon a testing program to try and examine whether we could do carbonation on the Elk Creek ore. Carbonation is a, is a different kind of leaching technology, and the idea is that you can use carbon dioxide to leach things like niobium out of rock. So we tried that on the Elk Creek ore, and we did that with L3 Process Developments, a company that we've worked with for many years. And the exciting thing here is that when we apply this technology to the Elk Creek ore, we show that we can extract niobium without at the same time extracting titanium. That's very important when you look at the Elk Creek flow sheet and what we're trying to do because we want to achieve a separation between the niobium and the titanium. As we looked at this on a very small scale, you know, we did a series of tests in vessels the size of a soda can. Uh, we not only showed that we could extract 11 to 26 percent of the niobium in a single pass, but there's also indications that we could combine individual steps of carbonation to achieve a much higher extraction of niobium. This is a really good development and one that we want to pursue because if this proves out, if we do some more testing at a larger scale, uh, what we could potentially do here is come up with a process that we could employ at, at Elk Creek and we could potentially decrease the capex for the process and also decrease the opex. Now this idea came to us from Eric LaRochelle, who's a process engineer at L3. And Eric has worked together with our technical team for over six years on developing and improving and optimizing the Elk Creek process. And we look forward to additional work with L3 where we would do some larger scale tests to really see what we could do about quantifying the kinetics of the process, the ultimate extraction of niobium and other metals, and see if we could optimize conditions to the point where we could implement this at Elk Creek and perhaps really make a difference to the economics.